All right. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. I'm sure you can. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a way to play as the. Uh, All right, that should fix my mic. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to play as the Arbiter against a Prophet. Now, this is a deathmatch game. And what I like to do is build a temple. You know, i got enough time, and I can just build four turrets. So, build a temple to, take, you know, have your Arbiter take over bases. It's better not to use Rage Mode, because that's a waste of money. And now, uh, if you're playing against a Prophet, or anybody with that, you know, probably going to use their units, like, um... Anders. So, Prophet and Anders are normally the two people I encounter the most on Deathmatch. Actually, Captain Cutter is, but he sucks. Anyway. What you want to do is, you want to make your temple. Then you want to make your... Now, you want to make your summit. Now, if you after you make a summit, now a lot of people already know this, and some people don't. So, I'm going to tell you. You make your summit, you make an anti-air. Now people think that, you know, anti-air, vampires blow. But against the Prophet or any aerial vehicle, it freezes them. And when I mean it freezes them, I mean it holds them in place. So, basically, there is an advantage to somebody using nothing but air units. If somebody plays in a standard game, as a UNSC, you know, more or less, uh, Anders, right? She can only max out with 20 Hawks. Right? Okay. And if she's used her uh, leader power, you know, whoever's playing their person and they use their leader power, they got to wait three minutes for it to pop back. Now, in that time, you can take your 25 um, anti-air and go over there and beat this living shit out of any dumbass who's willing to make nothing but one unit. That's not a strategy. It's not a plan. It's just you being a dumbass. I can't really look at it as a strategy because it doesn't take any time or any planning. Now, for somebody to counter that, you know, it's really not a strategy either because the person who did it was already stupid enough to make that mistake. But, um, you know, I'm playing a skirmish because I didn't feel like getting online and asking somebody to do it and be annoying. But, um,. So basically it's normal, or easy, I can't remember, I think I put it on normal, but the dumbass didn't make his temple. So, basically, I won't be able to show you in, on this map, I'll have to put it in a one-on-one, -on -one. but uh, basically this is what I do to make sure I keep money. On every base that I build, I put the three shield generators in the back, four turrets, you know, not really wasting that much money, and then I put um, four supply pads on a primary base temple, two shield generators, supply pad, oh, warehouse, my bad, summit, and two halls, because you only need one summit, shield and normally, people Turret will, complete. playing as Prophet, do the Wraith Rush, which is so easily counterable, and all I gotta do is stop his fucking Prophet, I leave people dead in their tracks, they don't even know what the hell's going on, they just sit there like WTF, I had this one kid sit there forever, I think he sat there, Probably seeing as one vampire really didn't do anything, he rushed my base in a death match, and I think he sat there for at least a good minute and a half before he realized that he couldn't move his profit, and he leader called. I ran over there, froze him again, that was his only base, took my order over there, about three minutes into the game, and went ahead and killed his profit. Uh, my arbiter got screwed up by a bunch of uh, grizzly tanks, but... I made hunters and some more anti-air. All you need is one anti-air because its stasis drain keeps the uh, profit busy. Now normally I make 10 anti-infantry and then 6 anti-vehicles to stop, you know, what some people do with raves and stuff because those things are bullshit. Anyway, you know, freeze it with the anti-air, the uh, vampire, kill it with the uh, anti-infantry because the profit even though he's flying, he's still considered infantry. At least I think he is. If not, 
Jack will just kick his ass. But um, as you oh, saw, it was the last game. Now here's this one. Here's the profit. And if he will do it, when I tell him to, we will freeze him right there. Stasis strain. Almost frozen. So basically, you can bring in your anti-air or whatever you have. And as you can see, he can't shoot. The offensive protectors around him, they can still fire, but the Prophet cannot. As you see, I'll show it to you again. Get those anti-air out of there. They're too confusing. And he's gonna die. No more waiting. I need somebody to do stasis. There we go. So the prophet can't really do anything. He's frozen. And I can just use my arbiter or brute chieftain, whoever you're playing as, or your, even your prophet, and uh, take him out. It even stops his leader power, as you saw right there. If you weren't paying attention, that's your own problem. But anyway. Stasis Drain stops the Prophet's leader power. He can't move. As you have seen when the Homo died, he was capable of moving. But, uh, here it is again, one more time. I'll show it to you. And that's about it. Um, I'm going to cut this video short because I don't feel like making you sit through 18 minutes of video. But, um,. That's about it. If you're gonna stop a hawk rush, play as somebody. If you're playing as the Covenant and they're just using hawks, then it'd be in your best interest to use vampires because they freeze any air unit. From what I've seen, they freeze all air units. Even a stupid uber unit waste of them time, money, and space. And, and just a little fun fact, the uh, Brute Chieftain kicks the uh, Scarab's ass. Melee, um, like the Arbiter, and his Rage ability will rip a Scarab to shreds because Scarabs cannot attack something. That is... Close quarter combat, who knew, right? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna cut this short. Running on seven minutes here. Um, check back for Halo Wars tips on UNSC. Hope this was helpful. All units. All units.